All right, Zach here with service training. And in this video, I'm going to go through the service mode using the Symbio service and installation app. So I'm gonna just go ahead and click on the app here and get it opened up. And I'm already connected to my panel. So if you haven't seen the video on getting connected, make sure you go back and check that out where we go over uh, how to connect up, how to get the app on your mobile device and get to work in uh, with this controller using the service and installation app. All right, so service mode. We're gonna head over here to tools and right up here at the top, we're gonna just go right into it, service test mode. The upper gray box gives us an indication of the active test state. So right now we're inactive. And then if we were to go into any mode, we can actually step right to the mode we want to go to. So if I want to go right to cool two, I can press that green triangle, the play button. And as we heard, we had some uh, contactors here pull in in my panel and we got cooling uh, two running right now. And of course we can use this to uh, do our startup, check our system out. Uh, if we're doing a fresh installation, maybe we got to check the charge and make sure everything's good or if maybe it's a service call, we're doing some troubleshooting, we wanna make sure that everything on the, you know, cool two or cool one or wherever we're at, we can use it to troubleshoot and help try to isolate where our, where our issue might be. Uh, if I'm done, I can simply hit the green square and stop and our service mode goes, our active test goes to inactive again. And then I can just go back around if I just want to bring the fan on I can hit the fan on and our active test state shows us as fan on now in the service mode by default it will stay in whichever step we put it in for one hour if you need to adjust that you can go through the onboard UI and you can go into the service menu and then go into the test sub menu and there is a service test timer that you can adjust up to 120 minutes or two hours. So it is adjustable. It's advisable to go check that um, just so you know where it's at in case anybody has changed it. But it is adjustable. And again, by default, it is one hour. Uh, while we're in service mode, any unit safeties are still gonna be in effect. So all of your refrigeration circuit safeties, any other safety devices, including emergency stop, are all gonna be in effect and they will take priority over the service mode. Uh, go ahead and stop my fan on. We go back to the inactive state. So real quick, that's how we can go in and step through various modes of operation. Use that again for troubleshooting and testing. And it's pretty similar to what we might be used to on uh, previous platforms, other than we don't have any jumper wires, we don't have any resistance values to worry about. We can just use this service mode in the service and installation app. It is also accessible on the user interface on the board, and we'll take care of that in another video. So make sure that you like and subscribe to keep up to date on new content as it becomes available. Thanks and have a safe day.